Manuel <laughs> long on the three. Bediaco. There's the size. Jaden Betty. Hey, wait, big guy, wait. And then this, his man commits, and then there's the seam. Year. So trying to piece together their size. As there's an offensive rebound off the miss. 60 40 to kind of force him where you want him to go, because if you let him go with who is. Joel Emanuel, and there's his skill set. Yeah, yeah. Ade Wusu with a step through. Richmond. Oh, look at the hesitation. That was pretty from Kadari Richmond's ground right here. Oh, might have been. His rotation now brings in Jaquan Sanders. The oh, that was close. Oh, it that was. was close. And Ganga to Hutchins Everett with the third. Watch this little trick. He throws his body towards the defender, extends the ball away from him. Into Dre Davis. Davis with the spin. Dre Davis willed it in. Already committed to his offensive move. A move, I should say. A proponent of it for years? Of the change. Why was nobody listening to you? I don't know. Just like at home. <laughs> no run for Seton Hall. Oh, oh, that'll spark the... Done. Still without a made three. Wow. 0 oh for 10. Munden, though, they'll get a third opportunity, and that's late. Hutchins Everett dumps it to Richmond. Davis extra pass to Dawes. Alamir Dawes. Behind the back, it was. Jamison finding Emmanuel. There it is for the Knights. It is a Gores for FDU. Davis gliding in. Dre Davis. Eddie Yako and Sanders, who was left open on a back screen. Jaquan Sanders. Race up to the other end of the floor, and that three off for Emmanuel. Davis took it away, final minute of this first half. Yeah, I like the nice pass again right there. And Betty Yako lays it, though he lost his handle on it, and Reynolds places it in. Did not convert. Yeah. Mediaco knocks both in the dominant first half for the Pirates. You know, at both ends of the floor, they control the tempo and with their fast break select selectivity and also the half court sets were nice to touch also. Almanor. And that's a great sign for the Knights. Richmond with the pull up and Kadari Richmond smooth. In terms of Brown who had a nice showing in the first half and there's another triple. So this Here's another two on one. Brown alley oop! Whoa! Emmanuel! That's up. Here comes Emmanuel. See how close to the basket he is on that one. That miss. Oh, look at that size. By Betty Yako. He has not missed. Four. Star. Kadari Richmond motoring all wow. the way. He was rejected. Dawes sticks it back. Eugene Harvey. Providence and Milwaukee coming up next. Said he wanted an elevated opportunity, and Dre Davis with some. The, the pass even comes in his direction. You'll have good results if you can understand that. Really get to understand the offense and where the. Gene Holloway basically said the same thing, but Betty Ako's taken advantage of his chance. Yeah, this is exactly what Shaheen Holloway wanted to see as he spoke to us. Just nice got Richmond. Richmond all the way. Uh, good cheat out by Richmond. Richmond with the left hand, Kadari Richmond. And sometimes the carriage just shows up. Seton Hall, I think they were well prepared. Um, I, I think when they, when you really think about it defensively, I think they were very well prepared for the basketball. And I think the thing you take away from this is if you're FDU is just. Reynolds got a step in, lays it in. Uh, team, they've been trying that little variation on that in the second half here. Coleman with a Euro and a teardrop uh, for Isaiah pretty. Coleman. Was the Do you think Madison Square Garden will have some juice when Michigan takes on Rick Pitino and St. John's? Uh, I think they'll be together in terms of transfers that you were talking about also. Blygen, he's identified as an X Factor. Or Shaheen Holloway is concerned, but not too many in the backcourt, which is always good. And Ganga backdoor left open and Sanders. Four, and they're all going to play a factor in there. There's Fritz. You never think to say the reigning national champions now have a sense of here when you think about how well they played in the tournament. But he grew up minutes thinking, okay, where can I head? I'm from Orange, New Jersey. Gene basketball in high school.
First man in double thick. And the freshman going to him that presses and and runs up and down very quickly. Fifty. Buddy of mine, Jay Boyle, was a sharp shooter. Sharp shooter was. <laughs> so with Dan Calandrillo. Oh yeah. That three go. Scramble for it here off the pressure, and they get it back. That's FDU basketball. Yeah. Francis hits the three. You know, Don got leaked out to Coleman. Oh. That went in and out of the basket, and Nganga cleans it he up. Has to go through the net though. Oh. oh. Almost got picked off. Inside, and there is Oz. <laughs> goes for Brown Mount about these two teams what they got coming up FDU with the big one against St. Peter's Seton Hall will have Albany and Wagner on the final ticks that will do it Seton Hall is 2-0 with a 30-point win over FDU pretty impressive they knew they had a little battle on the hands as they thought they did from the pace and the tempo that FDU was going to try to implement this afternoon but